Now, would you be expected at level three to pick up on this? I'd like to think so. I'd like to think so. Let's, first of all, have a look at some before we make any comments, okay? All right. Let's have a look at the backhand. I'm not looking at the ball, all right? Although, really, what I ought to be doing is looking at the effectiveness, but let's just have a look at something which is relevant to what we're talking about here. Well done, you two. Right, can he play tennis? Of course he can. He can play well. He hits a good ball. It's nice and steady. So there is a good element of efficiency and effectiveness and clearly some success there. But, how old is he? He's 23. He's a young lad. And he's a big, strong young lad. So he can generate power fairly easily. He's a good athlete, he's well coordinated, all those things are in his favour. A lot of the things that a lot of our club players aren't. All right? And yet, when we start to see the racket being taken back, we start to notice some little things. Okay? So if we have a look at his backhand, if I just point it out to you, all right, you'll start to see that there's a little bit here where he goes to there, then he goes back and he comes in and then he goes back again. Okay? So we get these little funny sort of complications that happen in players that perhaps reduce the efficiency of what we're doing. Good technique is really simple. It's not complex. It's simple, simple, simple. Okay? So all we want really from our club players is just shoulders doing their job and then the hands doing their job to get it to there, all right? And it merges into one movement, okay? So it's shoulders and hands here, and then the arms doing their bit there, okay? And yet, if you have a look here, we'll have a look at it again in a second, he goes to here, he goes back a bit, he comes in, he goes back again, and then he hits from there. So we actually don't see that long a take back from him. Why? Perhaps because he hasn't got time, because he's going back here, in, back out again, and by the time he's done all that, the ball's in on him, so he punches through from there. Let's have a look. Don't even dare change the thing. <laughs> right, have a look. Okay. Okay, let's get a little bit of a rhythm like we had before. Right? Then can you miss it, but it's there. Come on, Emily. Go on. Okay. Did you see it? Yeah? Okay. So, does that mean it's a big problem? No. He can still play the game. But we've got to look at trying to understand efficiency. And what we do know is that if we want the racket to do its job, okay, then it needs the help of the body. And if the body is doing little complicated things, then eventually it means that the racket probably isn't going to go quite as far as it could. So if I was working with Tom, one of the things I might well be looking at doing is to see if we can get a single unit take back to here. Okay, still keeping it relaxed, but maybe cutting out this little bit here and just extending a little bit out there. And that would allow him to, to be able to accelerate the racket a lot more. What you see from a lot of club players, well, you see all sorts of different things. Some, you see them straight out here. Okay, we talked about that. But the other thing you see is that actually they don't extend and they play here. There's a lot of pushing going on. Tom hits the ball. What's the difference between pushing and hitting? Speed before contact. It's speed before speed contact. Speed before contact, yeah? Okay, push is this. Hit is this. Yeah? All right, so you'll see a lot of club players don't hit the ball. Technically speaking, they don't hit the ball. They push. All right, they do that. And the reason that they push is because they have very little take back. So they go to here, and then they push from there. They go to here because they don't turn the shoulders, so the body is blocking the arm. I coach a guy like that all the time, he does this. He doesn't get himself to talk about it over and over again. It doesn't really stick with him, okay? To be able to swing on the backhand, I need to get my shoulders 
and my whole body sideways so that I can take the racket back to here to swing through. If I don't turn, my body is blocking the take back, so with the best will in the world I can only get my racket back to here, so I'm going to end up pushing. So shoulders first, and then I can start talking about the racket. But if the shoulders don't do their bit, the body doesn't do its bit first, that racket's not going very far at all. The difference is that he's athletic, he's coordinated, he's young. With a lot of club players who take the racket back a very short way, what do you think the result on the ball's going to be? Not much speed. Yeah, lack of speed and therefore a ball landing? Sure. Sure. Okay? So even with decent players, with good players, we can start to see little things there that perhaps could be improved. 